Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this short video, I want to show you how to make a green screen or a chroma key template. Let's go ahead and switch over to our setup tab. And we're going to click on product and services, then templates and borders. I'm going to go ahead and add it to sample borders and green screen. I'm going to click new. And it's going to be a four by six. I'm just giving it a descriptive name. Okay. So it's four by six, it's vertical. The page color uh, doesn't matter and we'll go ahead and leave the resolution uh, at 300 dpi. Go ahead and click OK. First thing we'll want to do is add our graphic, but before we add the graphic from just any random place, we want to put it in a permanent location so that uh, Darkroom can always find it. If we put it into a location and it gets moved later on, um, that file will not be available. So I'm going to go ahead and directly on my C drive, I have a folder for graphics, template graphics. I'm going to drag that graphic in and while well, I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and copy that one in as well. So first step is let's add that graphic. Click browse and it is on my C drive under template graphics. There it is. And the image is horizontal but when I add it uh, it's going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and crop it so it fits in as a vertical image. The next thing we'll do is add the photo and we're going to set the transparency option on the photo object to chroma key and you'll see you'll be able to see through the um, photo node or the photo object rather than seeing the gray background. Um, and then we'll go ahead and just for fun add a PNG logo on top and drag it into place. I'm using my scroll wheel to resize it. You can also use the little anchor points. And that's it. We'll click Save as New Border. We're going to want to save it in... You can either save it in the same location as your graphic or uh, the default location for your templates is in your X drive under Templates, then Borders and then we added it to green screen. This makes it easier to to find it because it matches up to that um, what we see inside Darkroom. Okay. So now if we switch over to our photo workshop. Click B for borders and browse to our sample borders. Select green screen. There it is. Now she's in Paris. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.